Where are you guys? I guess you're sort of chilling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm practicing my throwing technique with my daggers. I'm drinking rum. It's a good thing to drink. So, I guess without really knowing relation or where you guys are, without getting too much detail for this boat, basically on the way, something happens to the wizard. And he's not the wizard anymore. We is he still unconscious? We didn't make it in time. Right. So, a few, you know, it only takes a day or so to sail, maybe a little more to sail up to Obsidian, but on the way, this change comes over him, and he's, like, basically, like, so, like his flesh just, like, starts, like, falling, falling off, and that sort of thing, and he, like, his eyes are, like, grayish, and he just looks really fucked up. Is he? Is he still breathing? Can I can I check to see if the wizard is still breathing? See if he has a pulse. Yeah. You're welcome, Shrek. You're welcome. Seven. Roll a reflex check. <laughs> Sixteen. Is there modifiers? There are modifiers. It's on there. I think. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, 16 plus 3, 19. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you go to check his pulse and then like, all of a sudden he sits up and sort of like just slashes at you with like his hand, his little nubby gnome hands. Does he connect? And starts like making these like gibbons. This is getting noises. dark. <clears throat> Steve C! Can I remove you the can... roll for initiative? No, no, no. Can I remove the manacles from my backpack and try to shackle him? Uh, I have handcuffs. Yeah, you, handcuffs. you you use your handcuffs on his like feet and uh, our arm, hands behind his back, and I'll right. use my manacles well, on first his feet. Well, first, first I need your help. Steepsy, come over here. Okay, so I call out for Steepsy. Okay, so roll for initiative. Bye, Brad. I'm sorry. Eleven. Are we in Sixteen. combat? Yes. Sixteen. Okay, and you're eleven. Uh huh. All right. So yeah, you've dodged that thing. It's basically your turn. He's. Basically coming for you. It's your turn to do it. You're a cop. You're right? in this little cabin. Use where... your fucking like cop moves to like fucking like. That's what I'm gonna hit him with the ground and get his. I know. I'm a, I'm, I'm a monk. I'm a monk. Cop. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, so what now? My turn. Me. So uh, is there like a like a like a submission move I can try to use on him to like pin him to the ground? Is Steve? How, how far? Here. Okay. The boat. This is gonna be now the boat. Right, like this is the the boat's deck. Okay. We were in a room. So this is me. That's the wizard who just attacked me. I'm pretty close, right? And how far is Deep Sea? Right there. We were in the room. Okay. okay. So uh, I'm gonna try to. Yeah, I don't know, like like fighting moves or anything. Special ability. You got your monk abilities, dude. I have. Expertise and improve this arm. <laughs> what is expertise? You fucking run down, man. Yeah. Why, why would you write down? Why would you write down something you don't know what it is? What kind of expertise? <laughs> Bowling expertise. Could be darts. Um. Well, let me borrow your handbook. Could I use sleight of hand to handcuff him? <laughs> you can try. Let me see what they might send real quick. Alright, come on. Um. Weapon of efficiency, stunning attack. A monk has the ability to stun a creature damaged by her unarmed attacks. The monk can use a supernatural ability once per round, but no more than once per level per day. So I have this, right? I have stunning, yes. stunning attack. Okay. Stunning you do. Evasion, deflect arrows, and I have all these at level 1, right? Use your fucking stunning attack and stun them. Hold on, let's see what else there is. 
Yeah, that's the only thing I have. Stunning attack. So I'm, I'm gonna try to use stunning attack on the uh, on the possessed wizard. Does he look like he has a lot of health now? We're gonna we're gonna look up feats in the feats section. Feet section. Combat. Classes. But feats are, uh, they're not class specific, right? Right. Most of them. Oh, they're saying I should have made a, a saving throw before I turned? You did. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, you did. You made, th- I, there was, you made three saving throws. Oh. Is there an index for this? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I've improved his arm. Which is, you know how to disarm opponents in melee combat? And, uh. Proficiency. No, expertise. 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 You are trained at using your combat skill for defense as well as offense. When you use the attack action or full attack action in melee, you can take a penalty of as much as minus 5 in your attack, and at the same number up to plus 5 to your armor class. This number may not exceed your base attack bonus. Just intelligence, 13 is my intelligence for that. Right. So I'm going to try to use stunning attack on the possessed wizard. Stunning attack? Okay. So I roll a d20. Do you have the same book as me? No. I don't have that. So you can choose, I guess you can choose right now. Do you want to go by the 3.0 rules or the 3.5 rules? What's on the 3.5 ones? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Monk is one of the biggest, cha- one of the biggest changes class wise that they made. When unarmored, a monk may strike with a flurry of blows at the expense of accuracy. No. She may make one extra attack and run her highest best attack. Put me in the balls, dude. Probation. Um, first level, a monk may select either improved grapple or stunning fist as a bonus feat. Okay. So can you grapple him and then use hand? Yeah, I guess. What does what does improved grapple do? Improved grapple. It like adds so many points to your class. Like four maybe. You can, you, you can choose one of those two things, I guess. I'll, I'll go with I'll go with Crapple. Crapple, Crapple. You should. Okay, so you're gonna use Grapple. Yeah. Improve okay. Grapple. Improve Grapple. To grapple him and then handcuff him. Oh, look at that Mario poster. Which one? I don't see. Oh, the one on the top? Yeah. I don't know if that's wrong. Okay, so I guess you have to roll. Okay, I'm gonna roll for improved grapple. What is improved grapple? Yeah. Let me pull it. I guess the description for grapple is really changed, right? 
Gives you a plus four. Grapple action, 37. Gives you a plus four. There you go, gives you plus four to your grapple. Then what does grapple mean? It's for grappling. And it says something about uh, grappled as a... As an effect, like that someone is grappled? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. It's a state that you're both in. Okay. So if I do a grapple, can I put the reason in a grapple state? Yeah. Okay. And I just do it by grappling, I guess. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do improved grapple. Here's my rule. Four. Seven. Seven. Four. You aren't able to grab him. And he takes a swipe at you. All that for that shit? For a four? He swipes at you, but you step to the side. Monkey, I dodged that shit. So can I you, you just put my your jujitsu? Can I put my manacles on him? I'm welcome to try. Yeah. Okay, what what do I like? What am I scrap? Yeah, or or kind of scrap? Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen. What the fuck is this? Sorcery. Plus here. your strength. Uh, plus my strength. Yeah. Um, my strength modifier. Mm-hmm. Uh, so twenty. Okay, so you're able to get a hold of him. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you can do something else. Are you grappling him? Ah, 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 ah. Oh yeah! So he's swipe, he, as you start make to move to try and grab him, he swipes at you and you move around it, and you're able to hold him. And that's pretty much all you can do in a grapple attack. You can hold him and like maybe pull out a small weapon and like sort of stab him, but we're using manacles on someone that you're holding down. Okay. I mean, while I'm gonna hold him, while I'm holding him, you put the handcuffs on him. But now it's the, the wizard's turn, right? No, he's going. Or he can't go because he's being grappled. Yeah, so he's gonna try and break, break, yeah. break out. You're all grappled. Twenty. Okay. What? Can you shoot? He's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Can you shoot? All right. So, you, you know, have, does he have to roll to put the handcuffs on him while I have him grappled? Yes. Okay. Because I might, I might get swiped. It's like something. a double grapple. How is he gonna get swiped? I'm holding his arms like this. Well, that's an additional thing where you pin them to where they can't move. Grappling just means you guys are like, like a, yeah, no, each well, that, other. well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like pin him. So that's I can... an additional turn. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Let's just. If, if I can't get him wrong, try next time. Okay. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. what happens? Well, uh, he's already being grappled, so basically you're just joining in. Mm-hmm. So, you're able to get in there as well and just sort of hold him. So, like, hold his hand, like, ugh! So, yeah. There's a lot of this back going you. on. No, back to you, no. You guys pretty much have this under control. This sounds pretty odd, dude. I that he's a small person. Okay. Alright, 18. Okay. So you're able to pin him on. Okay, so he's pinned now. Like okay. So now he's like hissing and spitting. So it's your I turn. Can, I can, I, I mean, I can do the hissing and spitting, right? Do it. Get off me! <laughs> okay, handcuff him. Can, can we just no! find his back? No! Is that do Let me go, I'll be good, I promise! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! This is like some evil dead shit. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, bitch! It doesn't require that much. Yeah. Okay, so is he hanging behind his back? Fuck you! Okay. So, 